It's 7.03 on Wednesday, July 10th. We're at 80 degrees, going to the upper 90s this afternoon. It'll again feel like triple digits. Good morning, I'm John Aaron. And I'm Michelle Bash. The top local story we're following... Yeah, another hot start to our morning, an even hotter afternoon expected here in the D.C. area. We're looking at excessive heat warnings for much of the region starting at noon and heat advisories for the outer portions of the D.C. area. 7 News First Alert meteorologist Brian Vandegraaff says today's weather is going to feel more intense than in previous days. Much like yesterday afternoon, temperatures in the upper 90s and near 100. We've already had five 97-degree days or greater in a row. Today will be our sixth, and it could feel at times like 110. I mean, that's just, that's insanity right there, right? That's intense heat that we're looking at as we head through the afternoon. He says it's important to keep cool and remain aware of how your body's doing to avoid the dangerous heat if you can. Now, keep it here with WTOP for the latest on the heat wave with traffic and weather every 10 minutes on the 8s. Two young women are accused of killing a D.C. man and then taking gruesome steps to steal his money. WTOP's Luke Lukert has the latest, and we want to warn you the details of this story may be disturbing to some listeners. Witnesses told police 53-year-old Fossil Teclamarium was a sugar daddy for Tiffany Taylor Gray. Prosecutors are charging the 22-year-old and 19-year-old Audrey Denise Miller with murdering him. Tecla Merriam was found on April 5th inside his apartment on Peabody Street in Northwest. He had blunt force trauma to his skull and was stabbed in his stomach so hard it struck his spine. His thumb had also been cut off. Gray is also accused of using that right thumb to bypass security on Tecla Merriam's phone to get to his financial apps. Prosecutors say at around the time of the murder, the two women can be seen on security footage, stealing electronics and other items with two men. Those men have not yet been charged. Miller will appear before a judge later this month, and Gray is awaiting to be transferred from Prince George's County. Luke Luger, WTOP News. And you can read more about the case at WTOP.com. Cell phone use in schools is the focus of a new executive order in Virginia. Governor Glenn Youngkin's order calls on the state's education department to create guidance for school systems to restrict use of the devices in class. David Walrod, president of the Fairfax Federation of Teachers, tells WTOP he likes the move. We need our kids paying attention to instruction. We need our kids, you know, being prepared to be future citizens. And I think removing the distraction of a cell phone is going to be a positive step in the right direction. Some Northern Virginia school districts are already working on phone policies. In Fairfax County, the school board voted in May to develop a pilot program to store phones during the school day. And last month, the Loudoun County School Board approved a policy restricting cell phone use during class time. Would bigger be better for the National Mall? WTOP's Jimmy Alexander has details of a plan to add more than 20 acres to America's front yard. The foggy bottom area that extends to the riverfront and from the National Mall close to uh, K Street. Matthew Fliss is a senior urban designer from the National Capital Planning Commission. So this new public space could really refocus on people. Um, I think that's really the big goal. Now imagine in this urban design concept, when you have family in town, you could walk them from the Washington Monument to the Lincoln Memorial all the way to the Kennedy Center safely. This concept shows that something better could happen here and it could achieve a lot of really important goals. Don't expect this overnight because Matthew says it's a long-term effort. A pretty substantial undertaking. There needs to be that champion to carry the vision forward. A government agency or a sponsor or Jeff Bezos maybe. If you've listed a, a few <laughs> options. Jimmy Alexander, WTOP News. Still ahead. How to cut down on wedding costs? Have fewer friends. I'm Jeff Glabel. Traffic and weather in 30 seconds.